Hello everyone, this is Christian Kaufner from the Willow Project. As of today, we're celebrating six months since the beginning of Willow development and thought it'd be a good opportunity to just kind of show some of the things that we've been working on. Uh, like previous demo videos, on the left side of the display you have the serial console output from a Willow device. On the right side of the display is a locally hosted Willow inference server that I have here at home. Uh, this current one is using a GTX 1070 that I bought off of eBay for roughly $100. On the desk here, we have an Echo device on the left. Uh, we have a Willow ESP box in the foreground, and we have the new uh, Box 3 device from Espressif that uh, will be coming to your favorite uh, reseller, distributor, whoever, uh, within the next couple of weeks. So with that, let's, uh, let's jump right into a demo. Alexa, turn off upstairs desk lamps. Turn off switch. So not only did Willow beat the Echo device in terms of responsiveness, we get to show kind of another interesting feature that we've been working on here. You may be able to see with the focus of the camera that uh, it actually says, I heard Christian say, turn off upstairs desk lamps. Uh, what's going on there is I have a 10 second recording of my voice enrolled in speaker authentication and verification available in Willow Inference Server. And it's able to distinguish between uh, individual speakers. Um, so essentially what happens there is uh, not only can we down the road uh, essentially provide role-based access control based on the individual speaker, we also today do not allow uh, unenrolled or unknown speakers. And I'll be able to demonstrate that here in a second. But first, let's show Willow One Wake. Willow One Wake is, uh, is a feature that essentially takes the audio amplitude from the microphone at the time of wake and only activates the device that's closest to the speaker. So for me here at home, I have, uh, depending on what's going on, anywhere between seven and 10 Willow devices. And I got kind of annoyed that a lot of them would wake at the same time and try to process speech commands. So Willow One Wake is our solution for, for that particular problem. And let's go ahead and, uh, and move these devices, have them kind of change places. So with this, the, uh, the box three is now closest to me and will win what we call the Willow One Wake race in terms of being the device that wakes and processes the speech command. Alexa, turn on upstairs desk lamps. Turn on switch. So not only did the device that's uh, six inches behind uh, the other one um, dis display while active exiting, the ESP Box 3 that I moved closer to me and the camera not only did the same speaker validation, verification, authorization, whatever you want to call it, um, but it, sure enough, being closer to me, was the device that won the race. So um, as kind of another highlight of speaker authentication and verification, um, I'm going to, on the display here, show not only our new web interface that's available with Willow Application Server, but I'm gonna use our built-in Willow Inference Server TTS voice to generate a command. And with that command, um, Willow will not execute the action because the TTS voice is not enrolled within speaker authentication and verification. Alexa, turn off upstairs desk lamps. So in this case, uh, the Echo device executed that because it doesn't have speaker authentication and verification. Um, based on the configuration of my speakers and everything else that's going on here, the, uh, the ESP box device behind the box three uh, won the race, but Willow Inference Server, in fact, did not allow the command and dot, did not allow the, the speaker to issue a command displaying unauthorized speaker on the display and um, also providing TTS feedback that that speaker is in fact unauthorized. This is probably a good opportunity to show uh, just a little, a little bit of the functionality available um, within the Willow application server on dynamic configuration. So here's an overview of all of my client devices. I currently have, uh, let's see, what is this? Two, four, six, seven of them within, you know, within my house here. 
uh, showing a couple different ones on the demo table, the box three, the kitchen, bedrooms, etc. And uh, you know, with these, we're able to do things like, let's locate this device. Which one of these devices is this? We can also highlight the dynamic configuration abil abil <laughs> excuse me, abilities that are built into the Willow application server. So I have my connectivity options here. I can, uh, I can update the Willow application server URL. I can change my Wi-Fi name, my password, and I can change those here in one place and apply the connection settings and apply them everywhere. Uh, I also have all of the Will Willow configuration parameters available to me here. Um, we recently added a wake confirmation tone based on user feedback. That's why it plays a little tone when wake wins and the device is, is active and listening to commands. So let's go ahead and disable that everywhere. So we're showing configuration updated on the display. Just kind of another interesting feature there is you may have noticed that they restart at different intervals. Um, we have some randomization there so that when you have a significant number of Willow devices, they don't attempt to all come back and, and reassociate to uh, an access point or whatever you have there and, and maybe, you know, potentially overload it. Um, so that's, um, that's just kind of a quick little overview here. I'll try to keep it short today. But, um, you know, I think, uh, you know, we've had a lot of fun working on this functionality. Uh, it's been a good six months. And we're really excited to see where things go from here. All right, thank you.